I'm a reporter in New York City and this is what I'm covering this Monday morning. I took this video at around 4.30 this morning outside the Roosevelt Hotel in Manhattan on 45th Street. This is actually on 46th Street, but I'm just showing on this side to show the line of migrants that are sleeping on the sidewalk. Now, these are asylum seekers. They arrived in New York City a couple of days ago, hoping to get processed at the Roosevelt Hotel. Now, this was an iconic hotel. It's been in movies, but it shut down about three years ago and reopened earlier this year as an intake center for asylum seekers. Now, this weekend they were at capacity, so these migrants were left to sleep on the sidewalk. You can see the only thing separating them from the concrete is cardboard. Except for these folks here, you can see them sleeping right on the concrete, right on the sidewalk directly. If you've been following news out of New York City, you know that this isn't new. This has been happening for the past couple of months. There have been more than 93,000 asylum seekers that have arrived here in the city since the spring. Officials have said that this migrant crisis is costing the city billions of dollars, at least $4 billion, and Mayor Eric Adams is asking for more federal help.